Hey, Fight Fans, guess who's ringside? We got Rob Brandt, who's going to be fighting October the 28th in the final stop of the Super Middleweight Tournaments against Jurgen Bramer. How are you? I'm uh, doing really well, man. I'm just enjoying the, the, great, uh, the great night of fights they have here in San Antonio, and it's just a few hour drive from me, so it's, uh, okay. it's a very nice, top notch event. Well, let's talk about the tournaments. So how excited are you? Oh, I'm extremely excited. You know, we're coming up on the 27th, which is you know just a little over a month away. So I'm uh, I'm really excited. You know, it's my uh, first time as a professional traveling overseas, and I'm uh, I'm excited to showcase my, uh, my my talents over there. Should you win October the 28th, you will go on to face Callum Smith. What did you think of his performance against Eric Scoglin? You know, I thought it was a it was a great fun fight to watch. You know, very competitive. Um, I was uh, of course I was watching with vested interest, but I need to worry about one thing at a time. So yeah. I was uh. I spent a majority of the time really kind of focusing on, on Bramer, but as a fight fan, I just I really enjoyed watching it. There were two very uh, class act gentlemen, and uh, like I said, before the fight, after the fight, they really conducted themselves like professionals. So it was uh, great to watch. Do you feel that Callum won? Yeah. A lot of people had it pretty close. It was, it was a really close fight. You know, I mean, like again, with uh, scoring is very subjective. I think they both did their job. I felt that uh, Smith did win the fight, but it was, it was very closely contested. I, uh, like I said, it was a, it was a, everyone won. <laughs> you know, every, yeah. everyone won in that fight, you know, the, the boxing fans especially. The super middleweight division uh, the, for the tournaments is definitely stacked. There's a lot of competition there. What can the fight fans expect from you? You know, I'm, uh, I'm ready to go out there and just kind of, uh, it's kind of my coming out party and the yeah. upper stage. So it's, uh, I'm really excited to, uh, they can expect me to definitely get a W uh, on that night. But uh, more than anything, I just want to, uh, you know, showcase my talents and, and, yeah. and prove that I should be on the top level. So. Tonight we have, whew, I mean, a really intense, a war coming in just yeah. a matter of less than an hour. What do you make of this fight? You know, I, uh, I'm very excited. I mean, I don't know. I, hard to say it's going to make a decision. Uh, I think it's definitely going to. Uh, it's I think gonna, the judges probably should have stayed at home. I mean, seriously. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're here as, uh, as fans like the rest of us. So it's, uh, I'm just excited to see what's going to happen. I have the, uh, the, the Cuban fighter tonight, but, uh, you know, you can't, you can't really make a bold prediction in a fight like this when both fighters can punch the way they can. So yeah. I'm, I'm just excited to see what's going to happen. They have a combined record of 42 wins and 41 knockouts. What's your prediction tonight? I'm going to go with the, the, the Cuban fighter by uh, knockout probably mid-rounds. Mid-rounds? Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. What would you like to say to the fight fans who are tuning in and supporting you? Uh, just stay tuned. Or, uh, we're on our way up.